Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll do some rotations. So let's go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. left right excellent guys and now for some stretches so we'll do five to our left one two three four five excellent guys and next we'll do five to our right one two three, four, five, really good, and let's shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, and to finish we're going to do five jumps, one, two, three, four, five, excellent guys, have a seat. So lately in English class, we've been learning about a word beginning with N. No. Nouns. Excellent. How do we spell nouns, guys? Excellent. Nouns. <coughs> and can anybody remember what type of words are nouns? <coughs> Excellent. Nouns are naming words. They are names of things. Nouns, name of things. Teacher, student, chair, desk, television. All of these words are nouns because they are name of things and we learned about two different types of nouns in the last couple of lessons the first type of nouns countable, countable. excellent well remembered how do we spell countable C 
A B L E. Excellent. First, we learn about countable nouns. And can anybody remember when we talk about countable nouns? There are two different words we can use. Not a. A is one. Does anybody remember the seconds? And excellent. Well remembered, guys. We have a and an. Okay. A n. Now, does anybody remember the formula we have to remember to decide if we use a or an with the noun? If we use an, what letters must come first on the word? They must be vowels, okay? We use an with words that begin with a, e, I, O, U. And these letters are vowels. Excellent, guys. O, W, E, L, S. So with countable nouns, if the word first is an, like an apple, an apple, an egg, an ice cream, an octopus, an octopus or an umbrella. an umbrella you see the first letter of the words must be a e i o u these are vowels but what about the other letters of the alphabet does anybody remember what they're called consonants, consonants. how many consonants 21. 21 english alphabet has 26 letters so we have five vowels, which means we have 21 consonants. And if the words begin with a consonant, what word do we use before? A. a. We simply say A. So rather than write all the letters, we'll just say consonants. C-O-N-S-O-N-A-N-T-S. Okay. So that's our countable nouns. countable nouns. Does anybody remember what came after countable nouns? Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Exactly. We had U N C O U N T A B L. Uncountable nouns. Noun. Yes. Uncountable nouns. Does anybody remember? We don't use, with uncountable nouns, we won't say a or an. Does anybody remember? Excellent. That's the word we use. S-O-M-E. So, so far, we've learned nouns. Name of things. There are two types of nouns. First, there are countable nouns. And also there are uncountable nouns. With countable nouns, if the first letter of the word is a consonant, we say a. Yes, a chair, a desk, a cat, a dog, a bird. All of them letters C, D, B are consonants. So we use a. But if the first word is a vowel, a E I O U, we will say an. An apple. An egg. An ice cream. An octopus. An umbrella. But then some nouns are uncountable. Can anybody give me an example of an uncountable noun? Remember from pasta. Excellent. And what will we say in, in front of pasta? Some. Perfect. Pasta is an example of an uncountable noun. So we will say some pasta. Excellent, guys. That was very well remembered. 
And what we've got now, teachers, is we're going to do a flash activity to practice how to use the various noun words with their prefix, a, an, or some. So we'll ask our students to close their eyes. And what you'll need to do is produce the flash sheets for the lesson and cut the noun words into individual words. Give each student, in turn, one word. And they need to come forward and choose the correct column on the board and speak the phrase correctly. So let's see, first word. Let's see who can go first. Open your eyes, please, guys. Pak Boom, can you come and join me at the front? Show your friends your noun words. Hold it up high so we can see. What's the word, guys? Orange. Orange. Okay, so let's think. What's the first letter of orange? O. What type of letter is O? Clown. Is orange a countable noun? Okay, so what column will we put orange in? Excellent. Excellent, Pak Bung. And we will say, an orange. Can you say again? orange. Perfect. That's how we do it. Well worked out. High five, round of applause for Pak Bung. And now we'll choose another noun word and another student. Okay, let's open our eyes, please, guys. Who's next? Nadia. Okay, so let's see. What's Nadia's noun word? What do we have here? Meat. Okay, what type of noun is meat? Is because it is uncountable. Excellent. Well done, Nadia. We don't say ah meat and meat. What will we say? Some meat because meat is uncountable. So one more time, guys. Some meat. Excellent, Nadia. Well worked out. High five. Round of applause. Okay, guys. Who's next? Chu. Come and join me at the front. Come and show your friends your word. What noun word do you have? Hold it up high for everyone to see. Pineapple. Pineapple. So, okay, let's think. Is pineapple countable or uncountable? Countable. countable. Is P a vowel? No. no, P is a consonant. So what word will we use before? Uh, ah, okay. So chew, we can put it in the ah column. Yes, excellent. And we can all say together, a pineapple. a pineapple. One more time, a pineapple. A pineapple. Perfect. High five, round of applause for two. <laughs> and you see, this is how we work out our countable and uncountable nouns. Teachers, we're going to continue playing this game in our class. So what you can do now you can pause the video and play some more in your own class and choose a different student each time until all of the noun words have been used. So who'll go next, guys? Let's see. Okay, open our eyes. Who has the flash? Pat, come and join me at the front. So remember two questions, countable or uncountable? Vowel or consonant? What word do we have? Hot dog. Hot dog. Okay, hot dog. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable, yes. First letter? H. H. Is H a consonant or a vowel? Consonant. Consonant. So where, what column will we use? Yes, that's correct, Pat. Well done. So we will say, a hot dog. A hot dog. A hot dog. A hot dog. High five, round of applause for Pat. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, who's next? Lakau, come and join me at the front. Show your friends your words. What do we have? Ice cream. Ice cream, okay. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Vowel or consonant? Vowel. Okay, then where will we put ice cream? Perfect, guys. And what will we say? An ice cream. One more time together. An ice cream. High five. Excellent, Lakau. Well done. Okay, who's next? Down. Come and join me at the front. Let's see what Down's word is. Can you show your friends? What word do we have? Milk. 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 Okay. Milk. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. So what do we say? Some, Some milk. All together one more time, guys. Some milk. High five. Excellent time. Well done. Round of applause. Okay. Who's next? Net. Come and join me at the front. Let's show our friends. What's the word, guys? Apple. Apple. Okay. Apple. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. First letter? A. Vowel or consonant? Vowel. Vowel. So where will we put? Excellent, Ned. Well done. See, you understand completely. And what will we say? A. Apple? No. We will put A will go in the vowel column. You can see what's the first letter of apple? A. What type of letter is A? A? A vowel. So, Ned, are you ready? We will say an apple. Excellent, well done. High five, round of applause. <laughs> Let's see, two students left, two more words. Bang Pong, come and join me at the front. Show your friends. Banana. Banana. Hold it up a bit more. For Banana. Banana. Is banana uncountable? Countable. It's countable. What type of letter is B? B. What? Okay, so what first word will we use? A or an? Excellent, yes. We will say a banana. a banana. One more time. A banana. A banana. High five. Excellent pan pan. Well done. <laughs> One more flashcard. <coughs> okay, Prel. Come and join me at the front. and show your friends your words. Hold it up high so we can see. What word do we have, guys? Cheese. 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 <laughs> now, cheese, is cheese countable? No. no. Cheese is what we call an uncountable noun. So we will say some cheese. Is that correct? Some cheese. High five. Big round of applause for Krell. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Well done. So one final time, all together. A pineapple. A pineapple. A hot dog. A hot dog. A banana. A banana. And for vowel words, we will say an orange. An orange. An ice cream. An apple. an apple. You see it? A, O, I are part of our vowel word family. So we'll use an. 
And next, we look at uncountable nouns. We will use the word some, some, some meat, some, meat. Some, milk. some milk, some cheese. Some cheese. Excellent, guys. That was brilliant. Well done. And what we've got now, we've got a couple of videos for us to have a look at so we can better understand the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. So let's turn our chairs to have a look at the TV screen, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the two videos about how to understand better countable and uncountable nouns. And remember, guys, when we ask a question, Countable nouns is how many, okay? And uncountable nouns, how much? Excellent. And now it's time for our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we will place our hands onto our head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And now we're going to do it one more time. And to begin with, we'll do it slowly, okay? 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 Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And teachers, it's now time for the worksheet part of the lesson. And for this, lesson there are two different worksheets what we have worksheet number one is a picture of a variety of foodstuffs and on the second worksheet are our three columns column number one a column number two and column number three some so what our students need to do is they need to cut out using scissors the pictures of the various foodstuffs and they have to glue them into the correct columns depending on which word they will use and also to help our students practice writing we'll ask them to write the name of the food too so you might have to monitor the class and help your students with spelling understand guys yes. Yes. so we have three columns for countable nouns what two words do we use we use a or and and for the uncountable nouns what word will we use some so cut out our foodstuffs and place them into the correct columns okay but what's the first thing we need to do our write our names on top and give our students around 15 minutes to complete this activity and you can just monitor the class and help them with any spelling they need so nadia that's for Thank you you're welcome sam here's your worksheets you're welcome. Ned, this is for you. You're welcome. Prel, for you. Okay. Bang Pon. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Lakgao, that's for you. Chu, there's yours. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And Pak Boom, there's yours. So, similar activity like we did on the board, guys. Decide our various foodstuffs what column they will go into and cut out your pictures and glue them into the correct columns and write the name of the food stuff underneath so if you need any help with spelling let me know i will help you so let's see down hamburger hamburger is hamburger countable or uncountable Countable. Is H a vowel? No. no. So we will say a hamburger. 
we will place hamburger into the A column. And to spell hamburger, how do we spell hamburger, guys? A M B U R G E O oh, Hamburger. A hamburger. Excellent. So let's see. Chicken. What word will we use? Is chicken countable or uncountable? Countable. When we talk about chicken as a food, not quite uncountable. So we would say some chicken. How do we spell chicken? C H I C K E N some chicken yes if we talk about chicken that are animals then we can count them because they're full bodied but as a food it's uncountable yes and pang pong you can spell hamburger like this if you need any help with spelling of your words let me know Excellent, Ned. Well done. Pat, very good. Candy. What's this one? I think coffee. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity. And as you can see, all of my students here have done a great job. We had to divide our foodstuffs into three columns. And for Countable nouns, guys, we had a hot dog, a, hot dog, a, hamburger, a hamburger, and then for other countable nouns that had vowels, we could say an apple, an, apple, an, ice, cream. an ice cream, and finally the uncountable nouns, we had to use the word some, so we could say some chocolate, some coffee, some coffee or some pizza. some pizza and that was great so well done guys round of applause <laughs> and that's all for today's lesson so we hope you've had a great time and enjoyed the worksheet activity too and we'll see you again soon for the next lesson so can we all wave goodbye guys goodbye. bye bye see you again next time